Time for Mike Up. We love highlighting people and businesses making an impact in the D.C. area. Today, Adam Longo introduces us to two local entrepreneurs. There are a couple running one of the few black-owned independent bookstores in our area. Take a look. It's one of our missions to highlight great people doing wonderful things in the community. We're along Good Hope Road here in Southeast DC, and we're talking with the owners of a very unique bookstore inside. Come on in. So after you pop on in, it's actually the first store right here on the left. We're talking about Mahogany Books. They've been in this location for a couple of years now, an extremely celebrated store. So Ramonda and Derek Young are the owners of Mahogany Books. And what was the purpose behind you all opening this business? Simply put, making black books accessible was one of the primary reasons we opened Mahogany Books. A lot of times you can't find our stories on the shelves of a lot of bookstores. We've been able to um, just help people connect with authors, connect with other readers, and have a sense of community. We'd love to be able to look around. Is that cool? Absolutely. Definitely. Let's do it. Um, there were so many people, especially me when I was growing up in Oklahoma, I didn't have access to black books until I went to college. And so for us, making black books accessible no matter where you live is something that's vital to us because we know the importance of the history, we know the importance of learning about the triumphs, and also the tragedies that come from the black experience is pivotal for everybody. I was going to say just for the black community, but it's pivotal for everybody. The conversation with Ramonda and I was that with her being from Oklahoma and not having access to books, me being here from D.C. and always having access to books, we realized that not everyone is as privileged as I am, or this community was, in having access to black books. Hypothetically speaking, if you were standing in front of somebody whose kids you know, didn't really want to read, mm -hmm. you said that your mom was a big influence, got you and, mm -hmm. and, and your family to read. How would we do that? I'm a comic nerd. I love my comic books. I love my sci-fi action. So the first thing that I do when kids come in here is I walk them to uh, one of my favorite sections in the store, which is our comic books and graphic novel section. Nice, okay. And what we do here is we emphasize and prioritize comic characters that are uh, from across the African diaspora. So whether it's uh, Black Panther, whether it's Miles Morales, I wanna make sure that I capture a kid's attention. One of my favorite things is to give them like a Miles Morales shockwave, okay. or, uh, and this is a great um, book uh, by Jason Reynolds, a local author here, Stunt Boy. So again, I tell parents, it doesn't matter if it's a comic book, it doesn't matter if it's a graphic novel. If this kid is gonna open up the book on their own, that's what you wanna give them. What do you think it would have done for you if you were in elementary school, middle school, high school and having that access? Um, I had to read about characters that didn't, that didn't reflect who I was, and so there was this kind of disconnect uh, when I read their stories. I didn't feel like it was about me. I mean, it's the ultimate self-esteem boost. I mean, if you're never seeing uh, someone that looks like you, that accomplished great things, how can you ever believe that you can actually do those things? But growing up and seeing those other pictures of normalcy would have been crucial for me. I would have felt like I could have done anything, and that's what we have on our shelves books that talk about the great accomplishments of black people, the great triumphs of things that we've experienced and, and still overcome. Wow, this is uh, very, very cool and, and very happy to see this couple kind of take their mission and be able to be the change that they want to see out in the world. Yeah, uh, Ramona and Derek Young, I mean, they're, they're doing spectacular things here. So since 2007, uh, their bookstore, Mahogany Books, was available online. They opened that physical location there in 2017, and now they have another one that's open in National Harbor. So the first one that we went to is on Good Hope Road in Southeast. You know, it, 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 it struck me, it, it provided a good lesson for me on, on a couple of different levels. The first of which is how important it is to see people who look like you not just in books but you know as a creator as a producer as a reporter in the stories that I do you know we I think during this show have done a fantastic job highlighting people of all ethnicities all genders all races people who come from everywhere and it's important to continue doing that because the next entrepreneur needs to be able to see themselves mm -hmm. on TV to be able to inspire that. And you know, it, it makes me think, you know, looking back in, in our generation, the TV shows I was watching, where were the black characters? You know, it, it made me think about how, you know, I just took for granted that there were characters everywhere that, that looked like me that, that, that I could look up to. One of the things that I want to mention here that, that Derek mentioned as, as an aside to this, is that um, I've been falling into this trap with my kids. They read graphic novels, right? So they're mm -hmm. just, just getting into reading. And now we're trying to push them to get into other books. 
And they're sort of hesitant and sort of standoffish to that. And Derek's like, look, as long as they're picking up a book, if it's a graphic novel, if that's what they're going to read for a couple of years, it's okay. As mm -hmm. long as they're picking up the book and getting in that habit, that's the habit that you want your kids to get into. So I took that to heart and took that home and I said, graphic novels, just fine. By the way, the answer is on BET. That's where all the black heads yeah, are. Yeah, right. There, there just weren't many. All right, listen, uh, great stories, great people. That's what we do. We're looking for the next great story to do. Reach out to me on social media at Adam Longo TV on Twitter at Adam Longo on Instagram. Email me, alongowsa9.com.